So both Daniel Friedman and his father, Stephen Friedman, has threatened to sue me on social media. This comes after I made a video exposing Daniel Friedman's white genocide song. It's the white genocide! Ha, 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 ha. In this song, he makes a huge mockery of farm murders and specifically the brutal methods of torture that is involved in them. Torture with a panger and genital mutilation. Before you can say, hey why the anger? They'll cut your white cock off with the panger and hold it up and say, that's a beauty. I'm gonna take it home and turn it into beauty. And two nights ago, Detective Masilu Selowa from the London police station contacted me and said, that Daniel Friedman has opened a case against me for criminal injuria and intimidation. Now the reason why he got so bold to take on such a stupid case which he will most surely lose and we'll get to that later is of course because he thinks he is absolutely untouchable. He's got the full force of the mainstream media behind him. Well, it is true. The Citizen came back with two articles endorsing his video saying there's absolutely nothing wrong with it and it's only these right-wing fringes crazy people who are offended by it and they won't stand such racism. In their first article it even says people who do are not welcome on the site or page. Now judging by the reaction they got on their social media platforms after posting this article it is very very clear that the readers didn't buy their stories that Daniel Friedman is innocent and that this video is a wonderful work of satirical comedy. I'll put a link in the description so you can check them out for yourselves. What would have been the smart thing for Daniel to do was to delete the video, apologize and remove himself from social media for a few days just to let the storm weather out. And what would have been the smart thing for the citizen to do is completely, completely distance themselves from this individual. A new source that claims to be unbiased and balanced can never ever associate themselves with an individual that spreads such hate on the internet. Now their main argument is that you know he might have joked about torture and genital mutilation but the song has nothing to do with farm murders which of course is a blatant lie. Over the past few days I have collected every single article in The Citizen that references to white genocide as well as every single article written by Daniel Friedman that references to white genocide that I could find on the internet. And guess what? Every single one of them was about farm murders. Every single one. So my question for Daniel Friedman would be, if every single article you wrote in your entire life on white genocide that I could find was about farm murders and then you make a song about white genocide, why is that suddenly not about white genocide? Why can you always use this white genocide term in order to make straw man arguments against every good organization in South Africa while the moment you get a bit of backlash for a song in which you mock this white genocide, then suddenly it has nothing to do with white genocide? And my question for the citizen is this. If every single article that you wrote on white genocide that I could find on the internet, and everyone is welcome to look for one that isn't about it, why then can you say this song about white genocide has nothing to do with farm murders and Daniel Friedman is completely in the right? Now let's look into the post that Stephen Friedman posted on behalf of his son. And this will also show you how untouchable these people think they are. I've definitely angered a very powerful fraternity of people now because all of the mainstream media articles reporting on this defended Daniel and attacked me and said that I was the far-right lunatic and Daniel was perfectly in the right saying these things. Now let's look at the posts by Daniel's father and veteran journalist Stephen Friedman on Facebook. On Facebook he says that Willem Petzer is running a group of acolytes. Now acolyte is a stronger word for follower, almost meaning disciple in a religious sense. I run a group of acolytes that are national socialists or Nazis and are very well trained. A very well trained group of Nazis that I said to terrorize Daniel Friedman. This is extremely defaming of character and even though the Friedmans have no case whatsoever against me, this is something that I can sue them for for a lot of money and guess what I am going to counter sue for this amongst many other things. This is just the tip of the iceberg on all the evidence that we gathered against Stephen Friedman 
over the last few days that are extreme cases of defamation and libel. But tomorrow morning at 6am I will release my whole video on that. One thing that stands sure is that the citizens should be held accountable for their actions, for the fact that they endorse this. It's the white genocide! Ha, 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 ha. And this. They'll catch a white cock off with the panga and hold it up and say, that's a beauty. I'm gonna take it home and turn it into beauty. It is completely unacceptable that any news source that claims to be mainstream media will not only hire this individual to be their editor, but also then after his vile actions has been exposed, continue to have him on, not fire him, and write multiple articles defending him. Luckily, I see Kali Krul of AfriForum has already spoken out against this, and there's a massive backlash from the citizens' readers. One thing I can tell you guys, don't stop with the backlash. Continue as much as you can. The citizen needs to be shown that their readers do not like their editors joking about torture and fears. Joking about the most vile things actually happening now in South Africa. Remember to spread this video far and wide. Click on that arrow to share it over all your social media platforms and WhatsApp and so forth. Remember also to leave a comment and a like to get the rating up. And goodbye and God bless you all and have a merry merry Christmas.